You can't be average. You cannot be average. And you don't want to be average. You don't want to be average. Like, you don't want to just get by and like just barely get in. Yeah. Like, There's no room for mediocre here, yeah. honestly. Because this is not a mediocre career. No. Like you can't be a mediocre doctor. Who wants their doctor to be mediocre? I don't. <laughs> so. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chocolate Docs. I'm Necca. I'm Jessica. And we are the Chocolate Docs. Yes. So, how are you guys doing? How are you feeling today? <laughs> Let's see. Have you looked in the mirror today and told yourself that you're beautiful, that you love yourself, that you are amazing? Because you that are. You is important. You is high. So. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't, stop this video. Take a minute. And go do that. And then come back. Come on back. Alright, so now that that's done, <laughs> now we can get into today's video. Yes, so this video is basically um, kind of like a, not a how-to, but advice on what you should do as a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior up into um, applying for medical school. And then we're going to be telling you guys what we did throughout the process. So hopefully you guys you know can pay attention, take some notes. Um, we're going to drop a lot of gems in this video. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right on. <laughs> um, I was a biology major. Um, what were you? I was human development and family sciences. Mm -hmm. It's not like they don't have it everywhere, but I think it's kind of it's kind of common. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like a hybrid between um, like your natural sciences and then like your social sciences. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got the best of both worlds, mm -hmm. but it was still in like the <clears throat> college of natural science. So that was good for me because I still got to take like all the harder sciences yeah. with science majors. So you don't have to be a biology major, chemistry major, no, physics no, no, major no, no, to no, get no, into no, medical no. school. She is living proof. <laughs> I was a biology major mm -hmm. like for my first semester or two semesters and I was like, mm, this is not for me. I do not like this. I change. And that's okay. And I'm in medical school. Yeah. So it's okay. You can it's do okay it. to change. You still have time. You have unless you're like a time. senior. Thank but like you. if you're a freshman, <laughs> if the first semester isn't going well for you yeah. and you know your grades are slipping, look, you need to save your GPA and switch over to something else that you can enjoy. Yeah, sure. And for all of our students out there who are high schoolers, who are seniors, about to be or not applying, but like you're trying to figure out what college you're going to right now. Please, in the summertime, utilize that time to take courses. They will tell you in college, like, oh, you know, you shouldn't um, take courses at the community college because you can't transfer over. Lies. Lies. <laughs> All lies. Do it. They I did. They don't. But we want you to succeed. Hello? <laughs> Listen, I hope your ears are open, like, for real. Um, I know some schools don't emphasize AP courses to their students, but... Utilize that. Take, Take advantage of that for real. Like, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, um, but just try to get those courses. And you'll save though. money because yeah. college is not cheap. So uh, you might as well save your who coins. Who's funding your life? Who, who got who, who got some coins for you? No, for real. The loans mm -hmm. are not. Okay. But if you want to start out at like a community college, okay. so you can get those basics out it's of the way, you okay. will save so much money. Yes. And then you can always go to a four-year university mm -hmm. next, and you can have that like real, right. best, real. Because I know some experience. of your friends might be like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to this school, this university, whatever, four-year college, and you feel like you're going to be left behind. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be saving so much money. And in the long term, like your long-term goals, that's more important. So let's hop into freshman, freshman year. year. Oh, freshman year was great. <laughs> <laughs> freshman year was so much fun. Like, made so many mistakes. Being pre-med, I feel like people think when you're pre-med, you don't have a life. Like, I need to study. <laughs> but yeah, so, yes, we we partied. We had fun. We I enjoyed. Enjoyed. I enjoyed. Yeah, we enjoyed. We enjoyed freshman year. However, comma, I knew my GPA had to be on point. Yes. So balance? Balance. That's the thing. Like some people don't know how to do both. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky and blessed with the fact that I can do both. Yeah. Like I know when to study and when to have fun and let loose. Because peer pressure out. in college, all the parties, all the party parties. Like, like study. But I'm the about most. It, every single party is pretty much the same. Yeah. So I mean, I know there's I understand your first semester, you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna go to this yeah. party. Oh my god, they gonna be at this party. It's like 
Every party is the same. It actually is. <laughs> like, so like, if you miss out on that one party, it's okay. There'll be another one. Still, right? like, you want to have fun, but you still need to know when to bump yeah. around and, like, study and get mm-hmm. stuff done. Because at the end of the day, you, you do yeah. want to go to professional school, medical school, yes. whatever it be. So you know you have to have the grades to do so. Because, unfortunately, grades, GPA really doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter so. so I would say um, join an organization, yeah. a organization, something. It doesn't have to be medical related. Mm-hmm. Do something that you actually like. Mm-hmm. I joined African Student Association because I'm Nigerian, so that was something I can relate to. I went to a few meetings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made some friends there. Like I, I met some of my closest friends at these meetings. Um, I did. I joined a volunteer organization because I actually wanted to do that. Like, don't do it because you feel like it's gonna look good on your resume. Your freshman year, it's a lot of things. You have a lot of leeway, a lot of free time. There's so many organizations. Yes. I went to UT, so it's a huge school. Yeah. I was in a health profession. I was in like a few health professional. Um, organizations. I was in a mentoring organization, mm-hmm. um, social stuff, volunteer service. I did a little bit of everything. Yeah. So yeah. and just like she said, getting some, getting something that you're passionate about, so that you can get like a leadership position. Because yes. that looks great. You need those leadership positions. Yes. Um, you need to be active in something. So if you're passionate about it, you you're gonna love to be active in it. So freshman year. Freshman year. We'll go back to the yeah. point. <laughs> freshman year. Um, steady party balance. Yes. Um. Don't take too many hours your first semester. Yeah, try just to get the just breathe. Put your toe in, you know, you know <laughs> just a little, a little. Get your feet wet. Yeah, don't, don't try to do too much mm-hmm. your first semester. Do what you have to do. Don't you don't have to like take our advice like to like by the book. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you are looking for some type of guidance, then just care. There you go. There you go. So freshman year. Good, got yeah, it, got it. Okay. Good. All right. So, sophomore year. By this time, you finish your freshman year, you wild out enough. Yeah. So for some of y'all, y'all wild out enough. So I'm kind of hang of it too. Yeah. Like you, have, you kind of have like the college thing down mm-hmm. a little bit more. Yeah. So you can like take on more yeah. of those like leadership roles. Sophomore year is that when you take Okim? Yes. <laughs> That's when you take Okim. If you took Jenkim one and Jenkim two your freshman year, then sophomore year is when you take the organic chemistry. If you are not even alone, Okim, you're not alone. You are not dumb. <laughs> like everybody struggles in Okim. Yeah, I would just say seek help. Yeah, I, I'm very prideful and I'm stubborn. Mm-hmm. I like to figure things out on my own. <laughs> so I didn't seek help as soon as I should have. So I would, if you're struggling with something, go to your uh, TA or your professor because that's what they're there for. Like that's what they get paid for to help you. They have office hours for a reason. Mm-hmm. Go into your office hours. Actually, that's another thing. Freshman year. Get to know your professors because they're going to be writing your rec- your recommendation letters. Like, if you don't have a question, just literally ask them yeah. about their research, what they're doing, um, their dog. I don't know. Just so <laughs> family. Make conversation. Just introduce yourself. Just be yeah. like, hey, my name is Stella so mm-hmm. Like, um, I'm so happy to be in your class. Like, I'm looking forward to this and this and this in your mm-hmm. class. Can you tell me about what research you're doing? Because they love to talk about themselves. So, like, and they just, will remember you. They will remember, they will you, remember you. And you can make those connections. Yes. So, it might help you if you're struggling in the class. Yeah, that's another thing. They it might be your friend. Bump that grade you know what I'm saying? Um, so if we recommended that freshman year you get into organization, sophomore year, try to like get yourself out there into a leadership yeah. position. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be president. Do community service, do secretary, do um I was PR. like social chair in mm-hmm. one of mine. Like it was still a leadership position, yeah. but it wasn't as intense as like president or vice yeah. president. Um I also started doing mentoring. Mm-hmm. So I had like a group of freshman students who I mentored and like mm-hmm. we had a, like group sessions and all this stuff. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So I did that. Um, I worked also too, mm-hmm. so I wasn't able to do as many leadership positions, mm-hmm. but I was still able to do stuff. Yeah. So. Be thinking about who you wanna shadow. Think about that yes just have that you yes. know, in your back so, of your mind sophomore year definitely like start seeking that summer those, that like, summer medical you know something related medically yeah something so if oh you're if you're doing out. research like hop on that research mm. i know i took like an intro to research kind of class my mm-hmm. freshman year so i had the opportunity to do research mm-hmm. sophomore year so like if that's you something you're interested in mm-hmm. i would like hop on that sophomore year mm-hmm. Keep volunteering, volunteer, Keep volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Volunteer. It doesn't have to be with an organization. You can go to Ronald McDonald House, no, honestly. volunteer your own, go to mm-hmm. a hospital. Mm-hmm. Hospital, sign up for hospital volunteering. Um, yeah. And when you're volunteering, keep an Excel sheet of when you did it, <laughs> who, the, uh, who the coordinator was when you volunteered their email or whatever, where you, like, that's it where you did it? Um, what you did. Have a little description of what you did and how many hours. And a because, contact. And, yeah, contact information of who, who it was. Because you need, by the time you're applying for medical school, you're not going to remember. <laughs> and that application, man. <laughs> 
it's so tedious and the information yes. is so specific so you literally need if to you know have all it's that. so much easier yeah so definitely get on that stuff um study abroad because mm-hmm. i studied abroad mm-hmm. my junior year Mm-hmm. So you can study abroad, whatever. Yeah, but definitely, I would suggest if you can afford it, mm-hmm. then I would definitely suggest studying abroad because yeah. you'll get that experience as well. So I think that's a lot mm-hmm. of stuff for you. So junior, 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 junior. Was <laughs> I think that was my hardest year, honestly. Mm-hmm.